Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for March 24th of 2024 is titled Looking Back at an Eclipsed Earth. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image from the eclipse of August 1999 and the last one to be imaged from the Mir space station before it was deorbited and crashed back down to Earth a couple of years later. Now an eclipse occurs in this case a solar eclipse occurs when our moon passes in front of the sun and blocks out its light. Now, just like anything else, the sun is the source of light and the moon will block that out. The moon being a solid object will cast a shadow. Now that shadow will be in the shape of a cone because of the spherical nature of the moon. And that will then cast down on to Earth in some cases if the alignment is right. And that's what we're seeing here is part of that cone where it intersects Earth's surface. And anywhere within that darkened area, you will see an eclipse. Now the eclipse can be different depending on where you are located. If you're at the very central portion, you will see a total solar eclipse. And that is when the moon completely blocks out the sun's light and you are completely in shadow. It becomes dark like nighttime during the middle of the day. Now, if you're farther away from that in the outer regions of this, so not at the very central area, you will get a partial eclipse where a portion of the sun will be blocked. And that how much of that depends on how far you are away. The closer you are to the center, the higher that percentage will be. The closer you get to the edge of that darkened region, the smaller amount of the sun will be blocked out. So if you're far enough out, you might not even notice it unless you know that an eclipse happens to be occurring and you choose to observe it. Uh, very close to that center, even if it's not total, you will see a dimming. If you block out 60 to 70 to 80 percent of the sun's light, it will start to at least get a little bit dusky. It'll look like dusk in the middle of the day. But you really, in order for it to get dark, you have to be very close to that central region where you get the total solar eclipse. Now we show this in preview of the eclipse coming up in just a little over two weeks on April the 8th of this year, there will be a total solar eclipse that will go par across parts of eastern North America. The eclipse track will go through in Mexico up through Texas and then out up into uh, eastern Canada. So if you happen to be located right along that path, you will get a chance to see a total solar eclipse. If you're farther away, and that's most of North America, you will be able to see a partial solar eclipse. But the closer you are to the actual path, the better the eclipse will be. So someone looking from space at that time would see something similar to this. And you'd watch as the moon moves and as the Earth rotates, that path would move. So it does not stay in one spot. It actually tracks across the Earth as Earth rotates and would follow that path along Earth's surface until it eventually leaves Earth's surface as the moon has then moved into the wrong position and no longer can cast the shadow on the surface of Earth. So something to look forward to here in just a couple of weeks, a total eclipse of the sun visible from much of eastern North America. So that was our picture of the day for March 24th of 2024. It was titled Looking Back at an Eclipsed Earth. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.